Hey, hello there, I'm Aldra Hill. Welcome back to Total War Room 2. And the last episode, we defended Rome. The rise of Rome is continuing by baiting people into fighting Rome and dying horribly. We have managed to wipe out huge armies. And now we can prepare to attack into Antium. There's also Agnea. So we, have, we, we want to try and conquer all of this because this land is just, it's just gorgeous. So what we're going to do is if we move off this, there is 11. Public order is 11 because military presence political instability is going down which is good but building squalor so military presence is 12 so hopefully it won't go down that much we can hope we could do this and it could i think this will encourage better uh better stuff it's weird that i can't see I, not, it doesn't seem like i'm able to convert any of this which is kind of weird I could get it to a civil port, but that would actually reduce public order for some reason. Oh, great. This is going to be Latin cultural influence and growth. Again, more growth, but a reduction of food. A small farming colony gives less food. Sure. And this one just gives me more money. Okay. But. Hmm. Distressing. Let's just, let's see what happens if we move out. Okay, it's fine. So we're gonna go beat up, beat these guys out of the water. Nice. I'm just gonna auto this. No real reason to do anything else. Yeah. Bye. Oh baby. I release those captives. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So again, we've slaughtered nice huge numbers of dudes. Public order is surprisingly okay. Assuming no one tries to take Vei. If someone takes Vei, then we're going to die. But that's okay. <laughs> so we're trying to get spotted off PMS. So we're going to get raid and pillage, booty from battle, and 30% income from raiding and sacking. Nice. Um, there are some buildings we could try to grab. Uh, try and improve some of this. We could make this into a farming colony settlement. We have way too much food though, so it's just like not super necessary. You know? Uh, problem is if I make it into a civil settlement, it loses public order for some goddamn reason. Ah! Ah! <laughs> no! Um, I don't know. So I can't seem to convert this. This building will be upgraded by upgrading its equivalent in the province capital. But there is no equivalent in the province capital. What's he talking about? Well, let's... Let's demolish it. But it costs money to demolish. I don't understand! Why is this happening? Alright. Um, we could try to upgrade these. Public order is actually okay for Rome. So it would make a sense. it would make some sense to do that. Right, how's food for Rome? Oh, it definitely needs more. So we could upgrade this too when we get more food here. I think it makes sense to make this into a farming colony. Weirdly enough, it actually makes us lose food, but it reduces growth. And wealth from agriculture is quite nice. But a small farming colony, I think, is the right way to go. And I'll make a quick little actual save. Because what's going to happen is it's possible that they might try and take the V. And if they do, we're going to die. Which would be very unpleasant. I hope no one takes V in the three turns it takes to build the city. For Christ's sakes. Oh, unsigned skill points. Apius, Elemis, Catalyst. Not him. Him. So he can do both. So we have new traditions. Um, defenses seems vital. Defense does seem to make sense. Missile damage. Let's chuck in with the defense values. The Starward Defenders. And the actual army. Oh, this is actually his skills. So zeal and inspire. I can't seem to. Oh, I'll have to rank four. That's fine. Okay. Oh, yes. Deal Gravitas, Cunning Gravitas, Authority and Gravitas. Yes, please. Whoa, he's got two. Unit recruitment costs. Yeah. Nice. So I could actually move him to Vey. And that way we would actually get to defend properly. Because most likely we are going to have to defend this a lot. So I'd be very curious to see if I can do that. Let's go Rise of Rome. And see what happens. Some order in this garrison, if you please. Ray. 
Now they'll be less inclined to rebel and murder me. How kind. All right. It is still going to keep a couple turns. I just hope that no one invades me just yet. Just yet. Hello. Oh, good. Are you going to tickle my... Oh, he died. <laughs> he, like, he stroked my feet and then he died. What a shame. Okay, enemy wounded. Yay, that's what you get for being a jerk. So we're still making a nice big pile of cash. Well, we're losing money. Um, and we quite easily could uh, fight these guys. Annoyingly, they have a very large garrison, of course. But this could work. I think we will go to Rome. And we will recruit a few extra soldiers because right now we are not especially powerful. So we do have Roman swordsmen, which is great. I would like another unit of cavalry. The problem is they do have the wallery doodles. But let's get another unit of cavalry going because cavalry is amazing. Uh, two swordsmen, two light hoplites, some native Etruscans. Pretty garbage. I guess more swordsmen then. Might as well just try to recruit at least some soldiers. Who's better, the Hoplites, the Etruscans? Oh, the Etruscans have no melee attack. My goodness. So the Hoplites are without a doubt better. So let's just send as many as possible uh, of the good stuff to the Roman garrison. What's wrong here? Oh, they can only have four. Sod. Sod and yarbles. I wasn't really paying attention. Okay, we'll just... We'll load that. We'll load it and tie it together. Right, so let's do it properly this time. Uh, oh dear. Now I still have to do the turn. Life is a pain sometimes, isn't it? Oh well. <laughs> so let's do the turn again. Oh, but that means the guys in the agent might not die. I have not this Military access from the Tarashuna. I come with a proposition that deserves a fair hearing. Uh, we already had military access, but okay. It's fine by me, buddy. We're not going to go to war for a little while now. Uh, I wanted him to die. He died last time. I wanted him to die this time. Maybe he'll die. All right, he rubs my feet, gives me a nice little stroke, and then... Oh, he's fine. Bollocks. That's no fair. I wanted him to expire. Looks like they recruited a new army. A faction has joined the enemies. The Aquae. A failed bribery attempt. Ludo Romani. Instant in the early days of the Roman Republic. Oh, I see what I've done wrong. Oh, no, it's fine. No, it's okay. Uh, celebrations began with a grand procession of the Temple of Jupiter Circus Maximus, where animal sacrifices would be offered in Jupiter's name. The rest of it was devoted to chariot races between skilled athletes, a dangerous and thrilling sport which rapidly became an obsessive passion for the people of Rome. Over the next four centuries, Rome prospered and the Ludi Romani grew into the May Days of feasting, celebration, and games, and later came to incorporate theatre, dance, and other forms of entertainment. The public game the days of the empire, there were a number of regular Ludi held throughout the year, and the Ludi Rome expanded a 15 day extravaganza. Four Latin cultural influence and four public order. Oh, nice. So who's joined my enemies? Fucker. Well, that's not good. That seems rather strong, doesn't it? Oh dear. Okay, well, I guess we're going to want to try and split our armies a bit here. Alright, let's uh, let's group these bad boys together. There are some italic rebels. Being extremely italic. Not a fan of them. Oh, they're, they're burning things. They're, they're burning the stuff. Okay, let's kill them then. So we're going to have to fight them. Oh, good. They're pansies. Oh, good. They can burn other people. And I will happily wait here for them. Hooray. Okay, so I'm going to recruit one horsey dude and one more stabby dude, leaving space for four. So I can then move four units. One, two... And to be honest, that's kind of it. Awesome. So that is... Yes, yeah, so that's 16. We'll take a horsey dude and one more stabby stab stab. Oh, we're actually making money now because we got rid of them. Oh, because they were raiding piles of my cash. Excellent. 
And we'll also get another slinger unit. Array. And I can transfer three, so I'll take one of my, my Roman Light Hop Lights and my Swordsman. And this unit of, sli uh, of levies and put them all together. Oh, you, you what is this life? I said only you. I said only you. And now look at this. Oh my god, I can't even take this life anymore, guys. I literally cannot take this life anymore. Right, there we go. I've just tied everything together and just fixed this silly sod thing. I had to do some turns again, but it's fine. Uh, let's just push these little rebels off. Bugger off. There we go. Excellent. And then we will recruit one additional unit of slingers, a swordsman, and a horseman. And then I will be allowed to take three units away. So just this. Oops. So no, what happens is it takes the entire army. You can't send soldiers without a general, it seems. Okay. Fine. Uh, well, let's do it anyway, then. Let's let's do that. That's kind of annoying. So let's transfer our swordsman, our hot pl our swordsman, hot light, and this javelin. There you go. And then we'll just send him back home. Christ. Okay. And then the next turn, we're going to have a nice big army. And with that lovely army, what we can do is we can actually then invade. And we can choose who we want to fight. Probably fight Antium first in the field. Um, Agnani then can be held off. And as we take Antium, we will then supplant it with the reinforcements from these guys. And then begin to move around to the side of Fergeli and then Agni. Hold here and then move east and start conquering even more territory. This is probably going to go just fine with no consequences or issues whatsoever. Right, guys? Right. So which is the best actual general that I have here? Wait, where can I see that? There we go. Details. Yeah, these guys are pretty good. These guys actually are better, aren't they? No, they're not. They're worse. That's fine. Right, let's do this. We're actually making money again. We're going to have a full strength army. It's wonderful. The cities are really beautiful and large. It's nice. Okay. Oh my god, leave me alone. Stop stroking my city's walls. Bugger off. It's very mean. I, I don't want what you're selling me. Disruption. He's made me want to rebel. That's fine. He's, he's done really nothing. And I can't really seem to stop him, which is what's really frustrating me. Right, let's uh, let's go capture his face and rip off, rip it off, shall we? Oh my god, the rebels! Oh, what is this? Look at these rebels! Look at these rebels! That is too much. Get out of here with that! I'm half tempted to just leave them alone, actually. I'm genuinely half to Well, I think, to be honest, the auto thing is saying that I'm going to win, but I don't see how. They've got a billion cavalry. <sighs> and stabbed in the face. 285 units, that's fine. I lost a lot of cavalry again, though, annoyingly. Have you further orders? <sighs> I really didn't want to lose everything again. Look at all these skills. Oh, so good. Plus 4% morale, which is really nice. Uh, melee defense skill and brace. Yes, please. Okay. Oh, hang on. What are these little things he's got? I didn't actually see that. He's got loyalty, zeal, and Latin cultural influence. Oh, consular tribune. Oh, yeah. Enemy agent, agent actions, cultural influence, gravitas. Household, a political wife, corruption, but gravitas, wounding enemy agents in self defense for Xavier, and heavyweight philosopher research. Okay. Right, now do we retreat or do we push forward? I say we push forward. <laughs> oh no. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, um. So we're a bit weak. 
The lack of cavalry is a serious problem. Fall back, boys. All right, we'll retreat this. Let's retreat this, and then right, I'll. I'll just, I think oh no, we'll have to retreat to Rome this time because again they appear to have messed with my uh, political stability. I think perhaps we should consider hiring an agent. If we are a no, no, we're not allowed to. There we go. Recruit an agent. Nope, can't do that. Oh, my monitor's just closed down. I think they're back now. So it's fine. Could you please just make him stop? Chance to assassinate 3%. Positive outcome, 26%. Negative outcome. Screw it. Kill him. Make him stop. He's being a douche. Wonderful. He was wounded. Oh, I'm so pleased. Ah! Alright, we'll just, uh, we'll wait for our units to replenish a teensy bit. Kind of a Centurii being crap. In fact, let me just, uh... Nice. Now I could actually recruit one more cavalry unit. That's gonna be nice. I would love to get another cavalry unit. And then what I might do is... Put this guy down in Sisra. And this force over in Valle. Or I could have used them as reinforcements, Aldrio. You could have used them as reinforcements. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We've still got money. We're still making money. That's what's important here. Bloody political instability. Characters minus 20. Come on, man. Leave me alone. So in terms of bonus objectives, um, I do need to get that. I also need to get the Shrine of Jupiter. Well, I'm just not allowed to get that because there's no ability to do so. So that's fun. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Damn rebels though, man. They're everywhere. Uh. Disruption. Again. Warning. Protection expiring. We are still protecting procession of civil wars will expire in three turns. Celebration of Vanilla Rustica. Wine holders of a special status for us. It provides both a, a mystical connection to the divine and a key to a happy mortal existence. With the festival of Vanilla Rustica, uh, we will celebrate the fertility of our land and pray for an abundant grape harvest so that we may have wine for the coming year. Both Jupiter and Venus are closely connected to proceedings, and Jupiter, of course, controls the weather and allows the vines to grow. For him, we reserve the first bunch of grapes of the season. Venus is the patron of wine, intended for everyday use, and indeed daily rites are conducted at temples during festival time. So, minus 50% religious building construction costs, plus 5 food, 5 growth or turn for public order. Great. The Roman army is a force to be reckoned with. Right, can I now please kill everybody? If you wouldn't mind. Unhappy populace. What? No! <laughs> Alright, let's mess these guys up. I'm gonna do it. Let's go. Get them, boys. Right, let's get some siege towers. Two siege towers. We've got ladders. Siege towers are much, much better than ladders. Because it gets, actually gives protection rather than these crappy ladders that just get you absolutely wrecked. And then we'll also get a battering ram. But uh, they will definitely attack me before that point. Like, there's no way they won't. But they have very low skirmishes. We have lots of hoplites. We've got cavalry. It's going to be fine. Those defenses are coming down. It's just, they just have too many men. I'm just, I'm scared and I don't want to die. But that'll probably be it for this episode. I don't know how long this episode's been because I've had to tie like four different things together from reloading. But thank you so much for watching. I was indeed Aldrahil and I will continue to be. And what I'm considering actually is moving troops down here and reinforcing in Rome. Now there's a good plan. And hopefully they don't invade me in this time. We can only hope. Yeah, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.